So in this video, uh, we will see how to create uh, um, a game which is similar to Draw a Perfect Circle by Neil Fan. So the game that you everybody knows, which is this one. And uh, so let's go jump on ChatGPT. I've created uh, this prompt, which is a little bit longer because I've tested a few of them. And uh, obviously we don't have any kind of uh, uh, knowledge about programming. And, uh, but we understand how HTML, CSS and, CSS and JavaScript works. So uh, we know that websites are made by these. So HTML and CSS and JavaScript, and uh, there is no need of any kind of uh, development environment or any kind of specific program. So in this case, we are telling ChatGPT that we are an expert game developer and he needs to write basically uh, a game for us and with this kind of specification. So let's copy this prompt, put it here and Let's see the response of ChatGPT. So, it basically gives us uh, the HTML, which is index.html. Then it gives us the CSS, which is basically the style and the graphic design of the web page. And then it should give us also the script, which is made in JavaScript. And it's basically the code of the of the game. So there are three files, as we can see. This code set up a basic structure. It handles drawing, accuracy calculation, color changes, and so on. You will need to add sound effects using Web Audio API, API and other methods. So um, he has also commented. So the comments let us understand what uh, each part mean. Let's copy and see if it works and what are the changes. I, I know that basically sometimes you need to give more details and more, more specifications to ChatGPT in order to obtain uh, what you need exactly. So in order to obtain a correct uh, working program. And uh, so let's see. So the first is index.html. How do we do this? We basically copy the code, click here, copy the code, and then we just go to any any folder that we have we create a, doc, a text document and we call it index.html okay obviously if you see it like this it means that basically you don't have you cannot change the ex extension in of the file name in that case you need to basically go here and select file name extension. As you can see, it's still a text file, and so we need to change it, and it should be an HTML, HTML file. It says if we want to change it, okay. And now it becomes basically a, a sort of a, a web page. Let's make a folder. We have this folder we can delete and we create another folder which is our perfect circle by just okay and we put it here then we go here now the the text document is still basically not uh, it's not uh, uh, there is nothing inside so we open the notepad. You can use any kind of uh, notepad. There is also a good notepad we, for for creating web pages, which is Notepad++. But in this case, we just uh, we need to modify this document. They are all text documents, always HTML, CSS, and script point JS. They are all text documents, and you can open them with this, with Word, with any kind of uh, document. Uh, reader so we need to basically copy the code and we need to save it okay so this is now saved let's go on with the style.css and we do something similar so we create a document let's paste the code and save it and change the name the name must be style.css with the extension 
and in this case is this yes we need to change it now it's a style then we go here and get the script.js let's do it again let's open the document let's save it and then we basically call it script.js we need to change now it's a script as you can see they they all must be in the same folder in order to work because this document will call this one and this one and you can see it here you see script.js and also style.css let's open it we use always chrome so this is currently the program which is very bad in fact the first time it was uh, much better and let's tell to chat gbt to correct few things here so there are some issues first one so there is a box around which is not correct so in this case we need to basically specify until we get the result that we we want so let's give uh, to chat GPT a few more specifications some few more details so which is not correct So here we have this code and we have it here. We can open with the notepad. We just change it, save it. The style is here. We just open with, uh, with notepad. Then we select all, we paste it, we save it. And that was wrong because style CSS is here. So it's here and we save it. And then we have script.js we we save it here so let's open again the index.html so so it seems to be still inside a corner we need to change this web page and drawing must be full screen for the user so as you can see you need to basically copy and give give to chat GPT the description of what you want and uh, what are the changes that needs to be done and so on and and you need to basically copy the code that it gives it gives you and in this case you just continue to modify until you get uh, exactly what you want so let's uh, go ahead with this one so let's save it 
let's copy this is the style CSS which is this one let's click it edit let's paste it and this is like this and here it is it's a uh, so it's not centered so we need to tell him to center so you need to specify a lot of things so here are some changes okay and you need to specify many things let's go go on with the video and i will show you exactly the results when they are basically near to perfect so we had to discuss a lot with the chat gbt in fact it was making a lot of mistakes and it was uh, a little bit difficult so because I've asked uh, a few times and then he was not able to remember what I asked previously and it was giving me again all the code but finally we got a result which is uh, uh, we can say near perfect not completely perfect because there are a few mistakes but it's uh, it's nice to see so the final result is this as you can see so we sort out uh, the fact that the logo was uh, here and so on and this is the per. This is basically the circle. And we can even use our program in Python and draw a complete circle like this one. And as you can see, there is a, a little. There are a few mistakes. For example, uh, the best. Uh, uh, value is not updated with the last one and when it gives me above 95% it doesn't show me the background uh, because I asked uh, I asked it to show me a purple background or we can also put an image something like that and uh, also it, it doesn't change the beep but we can ask it uh, to change the beep and but you need to be basically taking account into account that you need to dedicate a lot of time in order to uh, try to get the perfect result because if you don't know how to change the code in that case it is a, it's a little bit uh, more difficult so but this is basically the we can say the version number one of uh, just dot fun <laughs> we can say it so so that's all for for this video and if you want uh, to get the the code as it is like this and in, in order to change it please comment below see you in the next video